Roger Wilson from FreeGuitarVideos.com. I'm here today to demonstrate a very fine amplifier from the Burris Amplifier Company in Lexington, Kentucky. And this is the Royal Bluesman Amplifier, which is a boutique, custom-made amplifier. Uh, it's great for studio, great for uh, small gigs, and things like that. So I just want to kind of uh, run through a few of the functions today. Basically, you've got your basic clean sound. And then we're running through a couple of other effects. Um, the Chalupa pedal or the Booster 2 pedal by, manufactured by Burris is, gives you a little uh, rhythm boost. So you might be, whereas you just need a little bit of a kick from your original rhythm level. You've got a rhythm boost. And then you've got your later just uh, overdrive. So you've got three levels of boost that you can refer to. One, two, and then three. Now the cool thing about this, it, it also runs through a pedal which gives you a vibrato. And that's a real cool old retro sound there. A rockabilly sound. And that's brought to you through the, uh, through the effects pedal on the foot switch. Now what's different about this foot switch uh, it's, it's an optional effect, but there's a power uh, receptacle on the back, if you can see that. And what it does, you run a daisy chain to all of your effects. So all of your effects up here don't have to have batteries in them, and you don't have to have an AC adapter with them. All you have to do is just run this daisy chain from the foot switch, which powers any of the effects that you're going to have. Now, what I have here today, um, I just put in a simple chorus. And then I have my tuner, which I have on a, uh, on a set uh, in order to mute so I can tune without having to drive the uh, people in the room nuts. And then and I have my boost effect, which I explained to you already with your three levels of, uh, of volume change there. So that's the, uh, the front portion. Now, the controls you have, you've got some vibrato, depth, and rate. Uh, you've got your master volume. You've got your regular volume. You've got your tone. And you've got your uh, reverb and the dwell on the reverb. So those are your uh, front panel effects. And once again, I'm going to explain the back of the amplifier uh, shortly, but you've got a whole another world back there. Uh, you've got to send and return. So what I'm doing here, a lot of times on other amplifiers I've played, I'm just running straight through the effects, going into the first effect and running through and getting going into the front input. But, but having the loop here uh, is really cool. And that makes it a lot easier. So all you have to do is just go into the front of your amplifier. And just like any, any other rig that, that runs an effects loop, uh, you've got everything uh, separate. So that makes it a, a lot easier. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and explain the uh, turn the amplifier around, um, and then I'm going to show you the uh, the back panel. And there's a couple of little uh, features there that you'll uh, probably really uh, enjoy and get a kick out of seeing. All right, now looking at the back side of the Royal Bluesman, there's a few cool features to look at, look at. There's uh, it's almost like maybe another little mini world back here, but you've got your regular power adapter for your AC power coming out, and then you've got your homage. Uh, outputs for your cabinets. If one cabinet you would use, you plug in 8 ohms. If you were running another cabinet from the ca this cabinet, you'd go to 4 ohms. And then if you were using a 16 ohm cabinet, you would plug into the 16 ohm uh, output jack. It's an all tube uh, feature, which is um, a lot of folks, a lot of guys like all tubes. And so there it is. Now the uh, send and return was what I was using on the effects earlier. And uh, it runs your loop through uh, from the effects all the way through in and out, uh, send and return. And you've got your uh, return level, and, and this is uh, your level there also, which is, uh, they're both kind of like master volumes. But the return jack can be used as, a, uh, as an input for another instrument. So you can, uh, you know, plug in uh, acoustic guitar or something, or you can run uh, maybe a, a stereo or an iPod through it if you wanted to play along with it. Uh, that can be done. You can also use the, the whole amp head uh, as a separate reverb unit and uh, 
and tremolo unit in a, with another amplifier, so that can be done also. And uh, basically, you've got the, uh, the, the the capability of just playing from a, a bedroom level to a uh, regular gigging level. So that's the features of the uh, Royal Bluesman. Uh, you can check out Burris Amplifiers at burrisamplifiers.com, and they're out of uh, Lexington, Kentucky, and they've got some other great uh, features. Once again, I wanted to... Uh, I'll just try to pull this out and show you the the foot pedal for the uh, for the foot switch, and it's uh, it's an optional feature, but it's great to have, especially for the uh, for the power. That's the, that's just a great feature to have, be able to not have to worry about AC adapters, you know, for your pedals. And then uh, and if you like to use tremolo, of course, there it is. But it's just a great feature to have, and uh, so hopefully you might want to check out the Royal Bluesman. There's some other amplifiers and other gear that they've got at their site. But be sure to just uh, pull up, uh, even if you go to just Google up uh, Burris Amps and uh, check out the Royal Bluesman and uh, some of the other gear that they've got. <laughs> my whirlwind tour of the uh, Burris Amplifiers Royal Bluesman Amp and they're once again they're located in Lexington, Kentucky. I'm Roger Wilson for uh, FreeGuitarVideos.com so thanks for joining me here and I hope to see you again down the line somewhere.